In response to the old dudes who made YouTube videos complaining that I write too many poems about rape, I know you think that I talk too much. I know you don't think this is what a pleasant survivor is supposed to sound like. I know you are threatened because I am a thunderstorm of a woman with so much to say. Do you know how long it took me to say anything at all? Sometimes I worry I write too much about assault. I worry this is too heavy a burden to talk about. I worry I am putting too much responsibility on you, the listener. But when I talk about my trauma, I am not asking you to carry it or relieve me from it. I am just asking for it not to be too heavy for a conversation. This experience takes up so much space inside of me. And this stage is the only place I can let this trauma live outside of my body. There is no socially acceptable time or place to talk about rape. I realized this at a party I didn't want to be at, dizzyingly drunk. Someone asks how I'm doing, and his name spills from my mouth into a puddle of vomit on the floor, and I apologize and apologize and apologize until the host says, shoot, girl, is sorry the only word you know how to say? Suddenly, I am the embarrassed girl crying in the bathroom at the party because I made the mistake of speaking about what happened to me at what was supposed to be a happy occasion. I am afraid to wear my recovery too publicly. I've noticed that people only stopped calling me victim and started calling me survivor when I stopped talking about it. And I have stopped bringing flowers to the grave of the teenager I used to be back when I had orchids in my hair and polka dots on my shoes bubbling over with light. I used to refuse to wear the dress I was assaulted in. I used to imagine it draped in a sash of caution tape because it was the only witness. I threw the underwear away. I didn't want to write a statement or file a report. I wanted to take a shower. I wanted to scream, my statement is that I stayed here in this body, but every day I find new ways to heal. I wear the dress I was assaulted in and I don't associate it with him just to remind myself he does not own a single fucking part of me. I found a way to heal through the poetry. This stage is the only place I could tell my story where it wasn't a burden I was putting on to anyone. This stage is where I learned to stop hoarding my suffering and I could give a fuck about a slam score. This is me healing. This is me reclaiming ownership over my body. This is the only place I have control over the narrative and he cannot interrupt me. Even though trauma has a way of becoming the wallpaper of my head, Watch me drag the art from my suffering. Watch me plant seeds down my spine and bloom into a garden of poetry from every horrible thing that ever happened to me. Every night my voice turned into cement and I couldn't say anything. Watch me build an empire from the ashes of every single thing that ever tried to destroy me. Thank you.